I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit of a clean freak. I hate getting my hands muddy and dirty. And, and when I do, uh, I just want to clean them. I, you know, gardening's not a thing. I'm not into it. And, and often mud can lead to discouragement or can lead to anger or frustration. And this week's blog is an interesting one. I was watching um, a seminar and the speaker, the a guy named Steve, was talking about mud. And he was talking a little bit about himself and a bit of a clean freak and love keeping his car pristine. And he talked about a scenario where he, he was dropping his two boys off at soccer training. And when they got back in the car, as you can imagine, uh, it was not as pristine as he would have hoped. And there was mud on the in the car and on the seats. And he said it really sent him into a spiral. And he, and he focused on the mess and the mud and the disorder and it really discouraged him. Now, just when that could have totally impacted the relationship with his boys and how he reacted with his boys and interacted with his boys and responded and reacted, he looked at the mud again. And he was able to look at it with gratitude. He was able to look at mud and see, you know, what it actually represented. It represented his relationship with his boys and, and being a good father and all those things that actually brought him a lot of joy. Now, I don't want to tell you too much, and I already have, but this week's blog is all about looking at the mud again. Have a look at the mud again and you'll find that often scenarios or situations or circumstances are really not as bad as they may first seem. Anyway, all information is in my blog at andrewjobbling.com.au and enjoy looking or re-looking at the mud again this week. See ya.